good morning everyone and welcome back to the uh, to the farm. Aren't I glad we got the hay in last time, eh? Last night. Look at this. This is bad. Okay, let's um well let's head up to the the farm. Horrible weather. For June. Not supposed to last all day anyway. At least. Anyway, um, God, a, a thunder. What a horrendous day. Right, let's get in here undercover. Oh, it's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Anyway, when it's stopped raining we are going to be making up some more cow food some TMR to give to the cows obviously um, they also could use a little bit more bedding in there so we'll get that sorted and um, Yeah, I think uh, Jimmy might be coming for the um, for the sugar beet today. Not certain, but I think he might be coming with the sh uh, for the sugar beet. We'll find out. Anyway, for now, let's wait out the rain. There you go. That's much better. We only had to wait an hour. And look at the look at the change. A beautiful day now. At least it wasn't really ever cold. It was just wet. Right. Ah, so the first thing we need to do is unload the hay. So. So let's get this over here. Then we can use tick to unload into the into the shed. All the hay can go at that end then. We'll keep the silage at the other end.
Right then. So I'll get these unloaded. And then we'll catch up. Okay, so I'm leaving this one on the forks because we need a mixture made up. So the bale trailer can go away, although I don't know where away because we need to leave the space for Jimmy to collect the uh, the sugar beet. Be able to pop it in here out the way. There we go. Right, now I need to get the feed mix the feed mixer hooked up. Okay, excellent. Right, let's switch it on. And we are going to start loading it up with everything. So I shall see you in a bit. Right, well, there we go. All loaded up and mixing nicely. That side of this bale is just breaking up in there. So let's start unloading. Okay, that's the first mix unloaded. I'm going to make another one. And then we will pad out their bedding. And I'm expecting Jimmy to turn up this afternoon. Okay, there we go. So, switch some bits of off now. But that, that's two loads in, and that will keep the cows going for a little while now. Right, let's move Tig out of the way. Oh, that's 
put him in the shed for now. There we go. Let's get the mixer turned around and put away. Not sure why I put TIG away because we're going to need it to load the um, straw into the bedding, into the shredder. That was a bit silly of me. Oh well. Let's go pick up some straw bales then and get them into here. Need to shift the harvester forward again. I had to move it back last night to get the hay under cover. It needs to go forward again now. So I can get in and get the bales out. There we are. Much better. I'm going to stock it up with a few bales because um, we will need it. I'm not sure if we get straw off linseed. If we don't, we're going to be struggling for straw this year. At least we don't need it to pad out the TMR anymore. We uh, it's only for the bedding. The straw's not that expensive compared to things like hay and silage, anyway. One more, I think. I'm going to get everything else put away and we'll give the cows some bedding. Alright, so we need to back it in because that's the side the blow is on.
which also makes it easier to put away afterwards. Right then, well that's their bedding all topped up. They look very comfortable and cosy now. Let's put this away. There we go, that'll do. And this can stay there for now. Right, I'll give Jimmy a ring and see what time he's going to be here this afternoon. Um, and then I'm going to go get myself a cup of tea. Okay, so it turns out Jimmy was already on the way here. And, uh, oh dear, it looks like he's here. Whew. Hi Jim. Oh, Alright mate. Uh, can you move that trailer out of the way for us? Uh, yes of course. Do it now. Oh dear. Oh where did I put... Where did I put my tractor? God. Oh it's... <coughs> it's in the cow shed. Right then. Where are we gonna put the trailer? Um Oh that tractor makes Casey feel tiny. And Casey's supposed to be a big tractor. For me anyway. Squeeze it through here. And into here, that'll do. There we go. That's out of the way enough. <sighs> right then, mate, we're all going to get set up. Okay, Jimmy. Um, is there anything I can do? No, just stay out of the way, mate. Okay, I'll stay out of the way. Well, that is an unbelievably impressive bit of kit. This, this would have taken absolutely ages for me to fill up with my front loader, but look at this. This is unreal. Sugar beet just goes up to the conveyor belt and just gets fed up and into the trailer. Unbe unbelievable. I don't even know how much is here, but it's not going to take long for him to take it all. Wow. I am... I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. That is a, a big kit. I mean, he's got a big farm, hasn't he? So that's just that's just crazy. It's incredible. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get on with some odd jobs around, and while he's sorting that out, he doesn't need my help, obviously. So. Uh, yeah, we're just going to crack on with things around here until he's done. So, Jimmy's uh, gone to unload the first load. He's already got a trailer full and it hasn't really made much of a dent in here. Which is absolutely crazy. Uh, yeah, he's gonna. he reckons it's two, or th two to three trailer loads, which is absolutely incredible. Maybe I should have asked for more cows. Hmm. 
he's apparently um, struck up a deal with uh, with the biogas plant to keep um, keep all his his um, sugar beet there in a pile. But uh, oh, look, he's coming back for the second load, so that didn't take too long at all. God, the ease that that drives up here is unbelievable. I better stay out of his way. Well, there's load number two heading off. And there is still a fair whack in here. <laughs> I had no idea there'd be this much, to be honest. From, I mean, it was, it was a long time ago that we filled that pit. So, yeah. Still at least one more load to go. It's uh, crazy the amount of we have in here, but at least we've got our silage pit back after this. That could be very handy. I know we've got the bale wrapper and everything, but it might be worth us doing a bit of silage in there. At least then it would be right near, right near the cows. Anyway, uh, I'm going to... While I remember, actually take this opportunity just to pay off the loan and the tractor payment. There we go. The um, bank balance seems to be fluctuating about the same point at the minute, with the milk sale every day and bits and pieces. Which isn't a bad thing. We're not losing money. Right. Well, there's not a lot else for me to do today. Um, so I'm just going to hang about I'll say goodbye and I'll finish the video with a few shots of uh, Jimmy finishing up so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye for now A new home for a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride